This is your weekly quick tip by Translating Lawyers. This week, we're going to talk about standards of proof, or evidentiary standards, which refers to the amount of evidence that's needed to prove an assertion or claim in a trial, be it criminal or civil. Now, because what's at stake in criminal trials is a human being's freedom, or sometimes even their life, criminal trials have a higher standard of proof than civil trials. In the criminal justice system of the United States, the burden of proof, or carga de la prueba in Spanish, lies with the government. And what that means is that it's the prosecutor, not the defendant, who has to prove its case and the elements of the crime charged. If the prosecutor is unable to meet the standard of proof, then the defendant can't be convicted. As legal translators or interpreters, you'll typically come across three standards when you're working. And you need to be careful not to mix them up or to use them interchangeably, as they're not mere phrases that are just thrown around by lawyers in court. They actually serve a distinct legal purpose. The lowest standard of proof is the preponderance of evidence, which is typically translated as preponderancia de la prueba in specialized literature. Preponderance of evidence is the legal standard in most civil cases, and it's not about drowning the jury or courtroom underneath piles of evidence. It's simply about presenting evidence that's more convincing than that presented by the other side. Next up is clear and convincing evidence, which is typically translated in specialized literature as pruebas claras y convincentes or pruebas claras y contundentes. Used in both civil and criminal trials, this standard is a numbers game. By it, the party alleging the contention has to prove that its contention is substantially more likely than not to be true. In the U.S., each state gets to decide which standard of proof its courts require, but claims that involve fraud, wills, and withdrawing life support will typically use the clear and convincing evidence standard. Last but not least is beyond a reasonable doubt, often translated as más allá de toda duda razonable. This standard is required under the Due Process Clause of the Fifth Amendment of the United States Constitution, and it's used to validate a criminal conviction. The standard that must be met by the prosecution is that no other logical explanation can be derived from the facts except that the defendant committed the crime in question thereby overcoming the presumption of innocence. And now that you know all three standards, remember, when translating legal documents or interpreting in court, these are not mere phrases. They are evidentiary standards, and they're not interchangeable. Learn more about legal translation at translatinglawyersacademy.com or follow us on social media under the handle Translating Lawyers. See you next week for another quick tip.